Virtual reality has been incorporated into physical therapy programs for quite some time now. It's even being used in the pool now to help people with MS. As Conchetta Callahan shows us, one UTSA professor's idea is getting those patients moving and keeping them motivated. John Quarles has been living with multiple sclerosis for 11 years. He won't let the debilitating disease get the better of him. Instead, he's trying to make rehab fun. If you incorporate gaming into it, and you can make it in an environment that you're not experiencing your symptoms quite as much, then it makes it a lot easier to stay motivated and to stay with the, stay with the rehabilitation program and stay active. He's created Shark Punch, a virtual reality game for aquatic rehabilitation. As an associate professor of computer science at UTSA, most of the classes he teaches are about gaming development and virtual reality research. So coming up with a game to help people like him only made sense. It's the first time virtual reality and aquatic therapy have been used together. It kind of makes you lose track of time when you're playing it, so it doesn't, doesn't really feel like you're getting a workout because you're just... Punching a shark who's trying to attack you. <laughs> and when the shark gets you, you feel it with a sensor that's wrapped around you. He really gets lost in the game and finds himself being a lot more active when he puts on the goggles. Many people with MS overheat when they exercise, making their symptoms worse. Exercising in the pool helps keep their temperature low and keep their balance. If I was playing this game on land, just, you know, out here, I could not play it for that long because I couldn't stand that long. Shark Punch is just an example of how virtual reality can be used in aquatic therapy. Quarles' hope is that more games like this will eventually be incorporated in underwater treatments to motivate those fighting MS every day. Conchetta Callahan, KSAT 12 News.